terms of food slash eating? Give it a practical example of zuhud in terms of food slash eating. Overeating. Perfect example. Zuhud doesn't mean that you starve yourself. Nor does zuhud mean that you eat food which is of very poor quality. But it means that you don't do the things that you don't need to do. And of course there are levels of zuhud. A person may say, all I want to eat is beans and bread. That suffices my stomach. Alhamdulillah, that's more than enough for me. Tayyip. Another person, he may say, I want to have lamb chops and rice. But I'm not going to have a huge platter all to myself, but a small bowl. I'm sufficing myself. It's quality food, but I'm not gorging and stuffing my face. That's zuhud. Let alone the fact that if you have lamb chops and rice, whatever you have for dinner, that's nothing compared to what other people have for dinner. And alhamdulillah, we've met rich people before, wealthy people before, overseas and here in the United States. You go to some of their table spreads, you see what they eat. You see I have animals, literally, without any exaggeration, not meat, animals on their table. On this platter is an animal, a goat, and another one is another sheep, and this is a half of a camel or a whole camel, and that's their lunch, and it's only five people in the hotel room. Five people in the hotel room. That's their food. The rest gets thrown and tossed out, okay? I had a, a friend, I believe I told a story before, he worked at a marriage hall. This was in the, you know, the rough days of Medina. We were like, you know, starving. He worked in a marriage hall and every Saturday night he would bring a huge, gigantic bag full of lamb and rice to my house and give it to me fresh. It was the leftover stuff in the pots that the people weren't going to serve anymore. They want to toss away. So there's levels of zuhd. So a practical level of zuhd could be to only to eat what you need to eat. It doesn't mean you have to starve yourself. Or a different level, a person says, I only want to eat beans and bread. That's enough for me. I'm not begging. I have the money. I'm not poor saying I want to practice zuhud. That's another difference. Many people, they're making a mistake. A person doesn't have money and say, I want to be an ascetic. I don't want to. No, you just don't have the money to buy it. And the moment you get a chance to beg or the moment you get a chance to get it, you'll do it. Someone who has the money to buy meat and says, I'll eat bread and beans. That's sufficient. And if I'm invited somewhere I have the finest lamb, alhamdulillah. So it's different levels of what? Of zud. Zud does not mean having poor quality stuff. All right? You may have a, an expensive car because it's a quality car. It doesn't mean that it's what? Extravagant. And that's another concept, extravagant zud. This is a long discussion. Go back to the playlist of Sahih Muslim. Kitab al-Raqa'iq wa zud, the summarized version of Sahih Muslim. Practical version is what I just gave you. And Allah knows best.